Hi, my name is Alex Spencer, and this is a tutorial for Tuts Plus. Few things generate fear quicker than being lost. Thankfully, getting lost happens less and less these days thanks to the prevalence of portable GPS devices. They're almost everywhere. They're in our cars, our smartphones, and soon they'll be in our wristwatches. Apple has also been quietly sneaking a powerful navigation system into their line of Mac computers. Sure, this functionality was briefly mentioned during some previous keynotes, but few have ever taken the time to really learn the power of Apple Maps. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use three-dimensional satellite views to virtually tour a major city. I'll show you how to access turn-by-turn -turn directions from one place to another. And I'll show you how to send those directions from your Mac to an iPhone, or include the directions in an email to others. Let's get started. Imagine, for example's sake, that you're about to take a vacation to Paris, France. You aren't sure if you want to pay for data roaming on your mobile phone, and you don't want to stand out as an obvious tourist. You would prefer to familiarize yourself with the areas you plan on visiting, so you don't have to rely on your mobile device as much when you get there. After you've launched Maps, in the search box at the top, type Eiffel Tower Paris France. Click on the satellite switch to the right, and then click on the 3D button down on the lower right. Use the buttons below the 3D button to zoom in and see a bird's eye view of the Eiffel Tower. Also note that while exploring, you can click on any of the icons for more information about the places they point to. As an example, this brown fork and knife gives me an information about this restaurant. If I click on the eye, I can see a couple of Yelp reviews as well as pictures of the menu or food that's offered to that restaurant. Now imagine that you are staying at a nearby hotel and would like turn-by-turn -turn directions from there to that restaurant. At the top left, click Directions, and you can either use your current location if you happen to be at the hotel, or you can just type the location you're looking for. As an example, I would type Hotel Baltimore. I have two options for my turn-by-turn -turn directions. I can either choose the Drive option or the Walk option. Notice the Walk option will take a little bit more time, but it's actually a shorter distance than the Drive option that takes a little bit less time, but is a little bit longer distance. If you'd like a printable PDF of these directions, you can go to File, Export as PDF, choose the folder you'd like to save the directions to, give it a name, and hit Save. Now if I go to my desktop, and double click on the directions, I have perfect picture-based turn-by-turn directions to get me from the hotel to the restaurant. As an alternative to printing the directions, I can just send the directions to my iPhone. To do this, I'll click the Share button right next to the search box, and then click the device that I'd like to send them to. In this case, I'm going to send it to my iPhone. I'll see a notification come up on my iPhone that directions have been sent from my computer to my iPhone. I'll click on that notification to be taken to the exact same map on my iPhone. That way, these directions are much more portable and can come along with me. You should note that the lookup and transfer of directions from your Mac to the iPhone does require a data connection, but once the map is fully launched on your iPhone, you don't require any additional data to load the map. So in theory, you could pull up the map on your hotel's Wi-Fi, load it to your phone, and then go into airplane mode and still be okay. Without your GPS on, you won't get the turn-by-turn -turn directions, but you'll at least have a digital copy of all the steps needed to get from one place to the other. Now suppose you want to set a meeting at that restaurant, but you know that everyone that is staying with you is on different schedules and not familiar with the area. You can send them an email that includes the directions as an attachment. From the direction screen, click the Share button and click Mail. The mail application will launch with a pre-formatted email that includes a link. When the recipients click the link, the Maps application will launch on their Macs or iPhones and give them the exact directions that you see. Apple Maps is an underutilized but powerful tool that's baked right into the Mac's operating system. Next time you need directions, want a virtual tour, or want to make sure everyone gets to the same meeting at the same time, give Apple Maps a shot. You'll be glad you did. In this tutorial, I showed you how to use three-dimensional satellite views to virtually tour a major city, access turn-by-turn -turn directions from one place to another, send those directions from a Mac to an iPhone, and include them in an email. Thanks for watching.